Hi, my name is Leonardo Wild. I'm a writer living in Ecuador, and I'm going to be giving a talk on story writing made simple. This is going to happen on the 14th of April. Yes, 14th of April at 11 a.m. EST, Eastern Time, which is 10 o'clock my time here in Ecuador. And this talk is going to be about how to help you write stories in a way that is effective and direct. If you are either new or already writing and have some issues with knowing how to start, how to end, uh, how to structure your, your writing, it doesn't matter if you're actually writing, say, uh, fiction or nonfiction, a long piece or a short piece. I had to use, for example, a specific structure for 30 second TV scripts, which is half a page. And I use the same structure for 400 page novels. And it's been over 30 years that I have been learning how to write. And for me, writing is really my life. And I want to share with you some of the tricks that I learned, some of the techniques that I learned over all these years on how to be able to go into the story and write in a way that cuts out a lot of the problems that people are having in even knowing how to write, what to write. There's a story anatomy, and this story anatomy is what I'm going to be talking about because just like you can't put your ear on your shoulder and look good, you can't put certain elements of story wherever you want them. These are kind of the things I'm going to be talking about. Many people today are like want to write their memoir. Well, what is a memoir? memoir a memoir is not a biography, first of all. A memoir is taking the essence of one aspect that you find important in your life that you would like to share with people. So it is a story as well, and you are able to structure it whatever you, way, way you want. A biography is usually something sequential, chronological. With a memoir, you can jump back and forth to put your point down, to tell your story and the as aspects of your life that you would like to share. So a memoir is like any other story in the sense that it has a structure that you should follow. Otherwise, people are going to get lost in the story. They don't know where it's going or what you're trying to say. Uh, a memoir is also like any other story focused. For example, let's give you uh, a practical uh, example of science fiction. Science fiction focuses on a certain particular type of theme. A murder mystery focuses on another type of theme. And the structure and the way it's built is so that purpose of that story comes through. In a memoir, you have to find out what it is that you want to tell. And you can use all of the benefits of nonfiction and the benefits of fiction in order to bring that story through. I have had novels that I've written like 80,000 words in 25 days, the first draft. And I have novels that take me 14 years to finish. So each novel is different. Uh, you don't have to really think, oh, one thing. People say that the first draft is shit. I don't think, I don't believe that. I think that was Hemingway that said that. I, I disagree with that. The first draft is when you put everything down and the revision is when you try to look at the gems that you put in, in the first one, which are hidden still. But I think it was in, in the year 2000 or something, after I've been publishing quite a few books already, I was quite frustrated to see some of these super bestsellers in Germany uh, write this crap stuff that I thought this is just junk, but they make a lot of sales there. And I said, say, how can they, you know, make so many, so much money and, and sell so much, uh, which that stuff when you really try to hold in your writing and, and bring other more deeper topics into your stories. And I thought he was going to agree with me. And he said, well, you must see what you're doing wrong in your writing then. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so it was like a cold bucket of uh, ice water. <laughs> and he said, what are you talking about? You published my book. I said, yeah, I know. But if you want to like, be able to have that, you know, what? what is it you're not doing? So that got me into really doing a lot of research. And I have now over maybe almost 300 books on writing. You know, all sorts of books on writing. I have one on the hook, just the hook, you know, and so structure, characters, all the stuff. And then I came to realize that there is a pattern behind a lot of this. And this is where, for example, these uh, high concept conflict, for example, is one of these things I found that is nowhere out there. You know, what's conflict? 
people talk about it and it's like a given you know right but what is it how can you have a craft on conflict or subtext another one of the subjects that is like oh yeah subtext but how do you have the craft on subtext so i gave two workshops uh thriller fest in new york on subtext you know and, and uh i think people like it because actually it's simple once you see it you can't unsee it my talk is going to be on april 14th 11 a.m eastern time do bring a piece of pen and paper not your computer of course you're going to have your computer to be looking at the talk but i suggest you take notes because there's going to be a lot of different tricks that i'm going to be telling you and showing you that can help you in within the time of the talk to make a leap in the way you can structure stories and find out what you want to write about so i look forward to seeing you at my talk and i hope that you will enjoy it as much as i will <laughs>